Welcome back to the NIF tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to understand what's the difference in between the count versus count if functionality. For that, I'll be creating one new workbook. And in that workbook, I'll be creating one new DQL block. So we all are aware that DQL stands for the NIF query language. Here, for reference, we are going to consider authentication as a stream. Now, in the stream, if I simply write like select count action, it's going to generate that how many observations are present in the column action. So there are almost these many number of observations are present in the action column. Now, when you're not specifying any duration, it's going to consider last five minutes as a duration. Now, suppose say the question is like this, you have to identify a count, but based on a certain condition. That means, suppose you want to identify that how many actions were of the login successful or how many actions were of the login failure. In such scenarios, you need to use count if functionality because you are going to count something based on the result that it is going to generate. So here, if I simply write count if action is equal to say login, then it is going to generate how many observations belongs to login as an action in the entire action column. Similarly, if I wish to count something like action is equal to logout, I'll again write count if the value of action column is equal to logout. So now you are getting this counts as login and logout over here respectively. If you wish to rename the column names, you can use allies by specifying as. So here I would like to rename this as login counts and here as logout counts. Let's just try to run this. So now it has got the proper titles like login counts and logout counts. So when you are exporting this particular result set into any report or into any dashboard, this is going to give you the better naming convention over there in that report. Thank you for watching this tutorial patiently. I hope this helped you to understand what's the difference in between count and count if, and now you will be able to use it correctly at the appropriate places. In the next tutorials, we are going to learn about more such exciting functions that will help you to manipulate your data in more correct way. Thank you.